Welcome to Elevate Your Mind with Ale. Today we'll be talking about the new moon in Aries and it happens between late March and late April. I will be guiding you with the top five things to do at the time of the new moon in Aries. If you plan your life by the new moon, you will find that you are in the flow of life and note that the advice and the guide applies to all of us regardless of our personal astrology the reason is this is a lunation in this case a new moon in a particular sign which is aries and therefore it has a flavor of its own so no matter what rising sign you are this is going to be inevitable let's begin by taking action the new moon in aries marks the start of the new moon cycle and since aries is the first sign of the zodiac the time for dreaming is over and the time to take action has come you have a clean slate when it comes to making your new moon wishes if you've been holding off or slacking off this is a perfect time to get back on the boat think about it it's springtime things are flowing Things are growing, which means it is the beginning of the year. And that means it's time to make a 12-month plan. This is a wonderful time to make a plan for the year ahead. And if you are too attached to whatever it is that you've been doing, do a plan for yourself. Do a plan for yourself and your spouse if you are in a relationship. Do one for your work. Since the Aries energy is really impulsive, you might think it's too high energetically right now to make plans, but with a bit of discipline, anything is possible. The fiery and enthusiastic Aries energy is great for infusing your plans with drive and determination, which makes perfect for being courageous if you've been too shy too timid and you need some courage to move forward with whatever you're facing and that includes your wish list this aries is connected to brave mars and the energies around the aries new moon which is reflected decide that you can be bolder in life and then work on this aries isn't so much bold as willing to just go into it into everything and just go for it without being overly cautious about the results if you could use a bit of more of imputatious in your life now is the time to incorporate this aries energy you'll discover that you get to have more fun so ask yourself are you having enough fun are you spontaneous enough think about it and if the answer is no, then determine that over the coming weeks, you need to make some time for having some fun. Aries is the child of the zodiac, and now is a good time to remind yourself to connect with your inner child. So, focus on you. This is also a good time for some focus on yourself and what you need, where you're going, and so on. And if you give yourself your wardrobe and your website if you do a makeover on yourself and on everything that includes you this is the perfect time to do so aries is traditionally the starting sign not least because it's the child of the zodiac it's filled with vim and vigor and it's preparing to burst out of a starting gate and it's not going to worry about going too fast. It just does. Action. It just does. So, on this new moon in Aries, take action, make a plan, be courageous, have some fun, and focus on you. Now, the moon never stays in a sign for longer than three to four days. But... I have come to realize that when I focus my intention on one part of my birth chart conjunction with the moon, it truly helps me in the 
everyday life that I'm going through. So in this situation, the new moon in Aries is in your fourth house if you have Capricorn rising. Your fourth house is where your home is at, your roots, your family, self-care, emotions, foundations, your mother, your children. It's the woman, femininity side. The fourth house is the part of your chart which is about your home and your family and all that entails basically your private life. So on the night of the new moon in Aries, you're going to focus on your fourth house. Your fourth house is all about your home and your family, where you come from, where home is, and what family means to you. So expect issues related to your home, your family. Now, if you do new moon wishes, I consider you wish for a happy and a healthy home life and to visualize a perfect day out or in if you like to stay in with your family or with the people who you feel are like family to you. Just visualize it and absorb it and just take it all in. The idea that you should keep in mind is that your home is where you come from and where you belong what does home mean to you whatever your answer is this is going to give you a strong hint about the part of your life that are going to be in focus over the coming four weeks the new moon in this part of your chart often signifies starting again as far as your home is concerned it can herald a house move someone moving in or out of your house major decluttering renovating decorating families often come to the forefront when the moon's new in this part of your chart so your mother your father especially can take up more of your time when the new moon in aries hits you this is actually a really good time for you to ask your parents um about your family your history ask your grandparents if they are still around to tell you stories to tell you about your ancestors just dig deep so you can have a better grasp and understanding of what home can truly mean to you if you are into meditation i consider you say i know where i belong whenever you're about to start your meditation so you can get into the flow of that energy now since we are talking about home and family a ritual that i consider you do is to draw a picture of your family and it doesn't have to be super talented it can be little stick figures and then draw a large heart around them and then visualize sending each one of them love one by one and this is so you can feel the love and this is really important because not everybody has a very bonding connection with their family which is so sad and this can help you just feel better about your family feel more united now the things that i consider you to do on the new moon in aries is to have a garage sale just get rid of those things that you no longer need and since this part of your chart is about home and family and if you are the type of person that you don't hug your parents that often i consider you do it i consider you try and if you do hug them just feel the love that they have given you and just take it in give your parents a hug this new moon in aries i also consider you go through your photo albums and just see your family through them you can even ask your grandparents or your parents for theirs so you can see other family members that maybe you've missed or you haven't ever seen 
like I had mentioned, this is also a great time to renovate and redecorate and make it more comfortable in your house. Make it homey to you. Don't don't think about how others have their house. Everyone feels home differently. So make it feel homey for you. And speaking of home, this is also a great time for you to sell your home change locations or even go out of the country or move out of a country now i am a big affirmation girl and if you love affirmations as much as i do i consider you to say these three affirmations on the night of the new moon in aries and that is i love my family and my family loves me i am safe and all is well i love my home remember affirmations manifest feel the feeling of loving your home so you move forward towards it and even if you don't totally love your present home feel the home that you wish you had now if you use essential oils i recommend patchouli to uplift you to give you positivity this is going to positively impact the spirit. It reduces depression and it boosts the immune system. You can put it on your burner to spice things up at home. I am also a big mantra girl. And the mantra that I suggest you chant is OM. Do it for the whole month. Chant it out loud. Do it silently every day while you're in the shower. I do it in the shower this is gives me peace it really helps me give it a whirl give it a try this is going to boost your chakra for this month and talking about chakras your chakra that you should work on is your third eye chakra this month by visualizing a spinning indigo color light in the center of your forehead your intuition will increase enormously if you use the cycle you're in to boost it intuition is something that can help all of us in our personal and our professional life so look into that the law of correspondence reminds us that our outer life is a reflection of our inner life it's the as above so below as within so without principle so our life, our world, our reality is a mirror of what's going on inside of us. If our outer reality is messy, unhappy, or unsatisfied, that's a reflection, a direct reflection of what's happening inside of us. What I tell my daughter basically every week, and I feel like she's getting better at it, is that whenever you think about, say, your home, but for a kid, or a person that doesn't have a home to care for and to clean up, you think about their room. If you always, 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 always have your room upside down, what does that say about you? That you're messy? No, that is, that is not what it says about you. It says that how you're feeling from the inside, in your mind, in your body, in your soul, is how... You are reflected. So basically, your room is a reflection of you. And you might say, well, I only do this when I'm trying to get ready. But why does it have to be such a chaos to get ready? You know, like, figure something out. Like, try new ideas. Like, maybe set some outfits up where you don't have to create a disaster. Well, I hope you found this video very informative. And if you did, please don't hesitate to let me know how you felt about it. As always, if you liked it, like this video, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And if you like these videos, stick around so you can hear about the next videos that I'll be having in the future. See ya.